So this is the heartbreaking story of the Spinosaurus and it is extremely heartbreaking. There are some things in here which you probably don't know which make the Spinosaurus' story even more heartbreaking to this current day. Let's get straight into it. So the Spinosaurus is a massive part of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise. It is the apex predator and one of the biggest we've ever seen on the screen of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. But what makes this so heartbreaking? Well, we're going to get straight into that. The Spinosaurus first appeared on our screens back in 2001 with Jurassic Park 3. And it came bounding onto the scene, destroying a T-Rex and getting a fair bit of heat and hate straight off the bat for killing the beloved T-Rex. Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which everybody loved. Now, there are reasons as to why he was so aggressive in Jurassic Park 3, which I want to get into first again, which makes this story so, so, so heartbreaking. Now, the Spinosaurus originally had a scene at the very start where you see the mercenaries landing on Isla Sona. They go out into the bush and they actually see a baby juvenile Spinosaurus. What actually happens then is the mercenaries attack the baby Spinosaurus and injure it potentially even kill it, which drives the Spinosaurus mother slash father to go absolutely bonkers and berserk and chase him through the entire film, which makes complete sense. Imagine someone comes into your home, etc., starts attacking your family. You're not going to be very happy. You're going to want to defend them. And that's what the Spinosaurus was basically doing in Jurassic Park 3. Now, that isn't the only thing. And because they actually cut this scene out, everyone was left confused as to why the Spinosaurus was so aggressive. They thought it was a result of the genetic experiments which made it go hyper aggressive, which is kind of true but not the full story as well. It was obviously very super aggressive because it was experimented on. It was an illegal operation of cloning this Spinosaurus. They experimented on it, extracted genomes, extracted blood and that's why it's super aggressive towards human in the canon as well. So it was left abandoned on there to care for itself. So after they made the Spinosaurus, they abandoned it on Isla Sauna and that's why it absolutely hated the humans in Jurassic Park 3 and it only gets worse for the poor Spinosaurus from there. So we know that in 2001, that's where we first see our Spinosaurus. And the next time we see the Spinosaurus is in 2016. So a gap of roughly around 15 years has happened since that point. So what has actually happened in then 15 years? So let's fill in the gaps. So we do know that the Spinosaurus makes its return in Camp Cretaceous Season 4 and Season 5. So what actually happens to it in them gaps? Well, we can kind of understand what happens. It actually gets captured by Mandacorp prior to 2015 and gets pushed into these biodromes. So you imagine the Spinosaurus which has been living out of captivity for at least 15 years and then all of a sudden Manticorp comes in, must trank it somehow, capture it somehow, herd it into a box, take it to this island which has different environments, different setups and force it to be in these environments for experiments. So it, they obviously put it in the desert at some point because you see that in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. That is not its natural habitat. It's probably really uncomfortable and they're really upset and really sad. And this is again a very heartbreaking story because it has been taken away from its habitat in Sona where it was already experimented on and now it's taken to a new island where it's getting experimented on, put in environments it's not comfortable with checking out his battle prowess, putting it into combat where it shouldn't be in combat. And that's just the start. We've got so much more to talk about as well. So poor Spiny now in 2015 slash 2016 is on this Manticorp Island where it's been herded and taken into a box and is now in these biodomes against its will. Now, this isn't even the start because obviously we know from the Spinosaurus they cloned the Spinoceratops, which has the Spinosaurus DNA in it. Now, to get that DNA, they're obviously going to be extracting blood from the Spinosaurus. Again, having more experiments on the Spinosaurus, and it just, just makes it the, the story of the Spinosaurus even more sad because it's in these different biodomes. It's getting experimented on blood drawn from it, put into combat, and it only starts to get worse from there. So then in season four, this is 2016, where the campers from Camp Cretaceous land on this Manticorp Island, they come face to face with the Spinosaurus. Now the Spinosaurus, again, obviously hates humans and chases the campers all over the island. Eventually, 
getting itself into some trouble. Now, this is where things took a nasty turn as well for the Spinosaurus because Manticorp has plans for the Spinosaurus. Now, if you haven't seen Camp Cretaceous, I would recommend skipping this section because it does have spoilers. But what actually happens to the Spinosaurus now is, again, nothing short of heartbreaking. We know the Spinosaurus is there. They've been experimenting on it. But what they actually then set out to do is insert brain control chip technology into the Spinosaurus brain, which allows them then to directly control the Spinosaurus actions. Now, you imagine having a brain control chip inserted into your brain where you can't move, you can't do anything, but you can feel, you can see, you can smell, you can taste, etc. You can feel absolutely everything, but you can't move. But someone has a controller and is able to control your every action. And that's basically what happens with the Spinosaurus. They put this brain control chip in the Spinosaurus and then they're able to control the Spinosaurus against its will, doing all kinds of unimaginable acts, attacking other dinosaurs, getting into combat, injuring itself. You could make it do all types of unimaginable things. And then we see that in Camp Cretaceous Season 5, which is very, very sad for the Spinosaurus. And it just keeps going down and down and down for the Spino because it does obviously eventually have to break that mind control, which happens... The Spinosaurus breaks the mind control. Well, actually, what happens is the campers break the mind control, which frees the Spinosaurus, and it goes out to live its lovely life on the Manticorp Island. Again, but that is not the end of our story here. The Spinosaurus is now on the Manticorp Island after all this abuse, after the abuse of Jurassic Park 1, where he's experimented on, potentially had his child killed, which was eventually cut from Jurassic Park 1. After that, he then has the events of Alan Grant and the team that it potentially set on fire. It's then left alone for a period of time to then be recaptured by Manticore, brain controlled, experimented on even further, put in captivity, all kinds of things. Now, it eventually breaks that mind control, like we said. So then what happens, Drake? Because 2016 is the last port of call we actually know anything about the Spinosaurus. So the last known canon reports are in 2016 on this Manticorp island. So where is it today in the present day in 2022? We have very little information on there. What we actually do have, though, is there was a dino tracker picture of the Spinosaurus, which indicated the Spinosaurus was alive and out there in 2022 but this was a deleted concept so we can't really treat that as canon but what we can do now is theorize as what has happened to the sad life of the Spinosaurus after the events of 2016 on the Manticorp Island so what we do know is that in 2018, that Manticorp Island is still harboring dinosaurs which are being looked after by the camper Ben and the doctor, Dr. Turner, who is a dinosaur veterinarian slash expert for the dinosaurs. So we know that on the Manticorp Island, the dinosaurs are still there, they're still alive. But what we don't know is if the Spinosaurus is still there because what we do see is the Spinosaurus, after it breaks its mind control, is a walk off and go into the sunset, as so to speak. And that's the last we see of it. Now, I'd like like to think we have a happy ending for our Spinosaurus and that the fact it is on that island, it is free like it was on Isla Sona for all them years and it's actually just going to live out its life. Although the sad part is it doesn't actually have a family, it is a lone apex now on its own, whereas they could have potentially given it a family much like they did the T-Rex in Jurassic World Dominion because the Spinosaurus has had its massive fear of mistreatment more so than any other dinosaur I would say in Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park. Although the Carnotaurus Toro does have a really sad story as well, which is something I'd like to cover in the future. But as of now, the Spinosaurus is potentially still on that Manticorp Island and it is there and trying to live out a peaceful life for how long before that island gets discovered and someone wants to take that Spinosaurus for its own gain, maybe continue experiments, maybe extract more DNA, maybe even transport it to somewhere in the real world to say they have a Spinosaurus because that was hinted at in the Dino Tracker. But who knows, it is a very heartbreaking story for the Spinosaurus doesn't have a family, been experimented on all his life, been in captivity all his life, abused. It is extremely sad. So I do hope in the future it gets a lovely send off, some closure to his story and is looked after because again, it hasn't really done anything wrong in anybody's eyes. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'm Shadows and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye bye.